The F-22, depending on who you talk to, is either the most advanced fighter jet in the world or a jet that's had a lot of cost overruns and a lot of problems. Nonetheless, first time it saw action. It has stealth technology. Its missiles are actually carried inside, so it's better at eluding radar. And this was just one of a tremendous number of aircraft brought to bear here, including Tomahawk missiles out there as an aerial assault here. Tremendous amount of power. And when you look at this, what you would expect the Pentagon to be showing is tremendous devastation on the ground. But look at the images they released. That's not what they showed. What they showed were very specific images of individual places where there was damage, not here in the original, but over here. Look at the very specific pinpoint damage. Same in the second image here. They showed how there's a big area of damage out here, but it's important to bear in mind, they pointed out that it was all contained within the fence line of the area they were trying to hit. Why do they care about that? Because of this. The coalition that has been put together here is very sensitive to the idea that these are Arab nations joining in an assault up here. Almost certainly part of what the Pentagon wants here is a clear message that they can, with these advanced aircraft like the F-22, provide pinpoint accurate assaults, and that helps calm the sense here that there will be collateral damage that could make it hard for all these other nations.